Now we're going to use a fun tool. It's called the Reflect tool, and it's, it's really kind of strange. It's like flip vertical or flip horizontal, but you use the Reflect tool to get it done. And this tool is hidden under the Rotation tool. So you just hold down on the Rotation tool, and here it is right here, Reflect. So let's go over here and use it. Um, I'm going to make a vase. And just to be quick, I'm going to bring my stroke to the front, choose a color, take the pencil tool, and I'm going to make a vase. Well, as you can see, that's only half of a vase, and that's where the reflect tool comes in. You go to the reflect tool, and right now, notice this crosshair shows up here. Right now, if I use the Reflect tool, it's just going to flip it around the vertical axis. So it's going to leave it right where it is and flip it. But I want to make another one, so I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hold the Alt key down, Option on the Mac, and I click. And this menu pops up. Now, if you only want to flip one, you just click OK. But if you want to copy the existing one, and make a new one, then you click copy. Now I've got two. And I'm going to, I want to make one shape. <clears throat> so to do that, I'm going to take the white arrow tool, select these two anchor points, and I go object, path, join. That joins those anchor points and come up here. Object, path, join. Now I have one object. Maybe I'll add an anchor point up here. Drag it down just a tad. And maybe I'll bevel that. There we go. And of course now I can assign fill color. And that is the reflect tool.